So now I'm going to do the next task in the prime and composite numbers lesson of codidity. It's called min perimeter rectangle. So let's go. Okay, an integer n is given representing the area of some rectangle. The area of a rectangle whose sides are length a and b is a times b and the perimeter is 2 times a plus b. The goal is to find the minimum perimeter of any rectangle whose area equals n. The sides of this rectangle should only be integers. For example, given n equals 30, rectangles of area 30 are 1 by 30 with a perimeter of 62, 2 by 15 with a perimeter of 34, 3 by 10 with a perimeter of 26, 5 by 6 with a perimeter of 22. Write a function that given the integer n returns the minimal perimeter of any rectangle whose area is exactly equal to n. For example, given integer 30, the function should return 22 as explained above. Write an efficient algorithm for the following assumptions. n is an integer from 1 to 1 billion. Okay, so I think the minimum um, perimeter rectangle is going to be the one which is closest to the square because as we approach a square here, the perimeter is getting less. And if you think about a, a square two by two, that has a perimeter of eight and an area of four. But if it was four by one, it would be perimeter of 10 so I think what we need to do is find the square of n and see if that works and if it doesn't loop away from it to find the first value with integers only in the um, on the sides okay so let's have a go at this so I'll just set up the test Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to loop from the ceiling of the square root of n. Uh, I'll just concast that to an int there. So I'm looping from a value close to the square root. I'm going to go down to one uh, the values have to be a um, at least one because they have to be an integer and you can't have a rectangle with the side of zero and i'll loop down one at a time what i'm going to do is say if n over i mod one equals zero going to cast one of them to a double so it doesn't do that calculation on the int it doesn't um, if both of those are an int that the result of that will definitely be an int so if um, I divide this side value by or I divide the area by that side value I end up with a whole number that's really the key to this then my one side is i in length so on to the perimeter will be two lots of that plus my other side is n over i in length so two lots of that um, and i think that's it uh, if we get to the bottom uh, i if we get to the bottom then it's impossible but it's never impossible because if we give it a value of one, then um, the answer would be four, one by one. Um, so I don't think we'll ever get there, but I'll, I've got to return something just to keep the compiler happy. So let's see if we get 22. Yeah, and now I'm just gonna do some tests in my head. So if we give it 
So the integer is definitely at least one. If we give it one, the minimum perimeter will be four, one by one. Uh, I still get 22. Um, it's, right, no, I don't know, four. Um, okay, if I give it two, the minimum perimeter will be one by two. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Still four. Uh, something strange happening there, but yeah, that's right. Okay, if I give it three, uh, it will be three by one. So that will be eight. If I give it four, now we want two by two. So that would be eight. I'll just check that. Yeah. And if we give it 30, the answer is 22 in the test. So I think that that's right. Um, I'll just check for possible corner cases. N is a value of one to one billion. That's well within range. It's at least one, so we don't have to worry about negative numbers or anything um, or zero. Um, so that's fine. We should always be able to get an answer because the answer could the uh, the rectangle could just be the value um, by one. So I think that is our solution. So. I uh, just quickly again we're going from a value close to the square root because a square would be the minimum perimeter we're going to loop down by one if we can divide the area by this value which is one of the sides without a remainder rather if n divided by the side value is a whole number then that's our answer. So we return the answer two times the side and two times the other side, which is the area divided by the side value. So I think that's it. I think that's quite straightforward. Um, the trick is to realize that the square value will be the closest. Um, I suppose if we give it some prime number and it has to loop all the way down to one it might not be so efficient but it's not doing some crazy amount of work it's just looping straight down so let's submit that and see how it does I'm 100% so uh, let's just see what tests it through it. it simple values small value medium values prime numbers yeah um, a square number extreme maximum okay so that's my solution to the minimum perimeter rectangle problem in codility thanks for watching